Hello and welcome. This is Dr. Victor. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to use the idle IDE to write Python code. I'll explain what that means, how to set it up, and how to use it to write your code. Let's begin. When writing more complex code, we often need some help to remind us of some keywords or syntaxes. Integrated Development Environments, or IDEs, are software applications that help us to do those things. In the context of Python coding, there are many IDEs available. Generally speaking, there are two types, online IDE or offline IDE. Online IDEs let you put files on a remote server and run the code on their end, while offline IDEs do all these in your own computer. There are pros and cons for both IDEs, but here we focus on offline IDEs that give you better control of your files and are less susceptible to internet interruption. And more importantly, protect your files from prying eyes, as many online IDEs make your files publicly available by default. The IDE I'm going to cover in this video is called IDLE, or in its full name, Integrated Development and Learning Environment. IDLE is the official IDE you can download from the Python website. To do so, you go to python.org, P-Y-T-H-O-N dot O-R-G, and go to the Downloads tab. Depending on your operating system, it's going to tell you something differently. Here I'm using Windows, so that's why it's going to tell me, oh, you can download Windows uh, or Python for Windows. Now, once you download this file, you can double click the file, open it, and it's going to be an installer. It's going to install IDLE for you, and you can run the IDLE software application after the installation is completed. And when you start the IDLE, it will look something like this. What we can see here is the Python shell or sometimes we call it the interactive screen or interactive console of Python. Over here, you can type Python code like call function print and I can press enter and I can see the result. But if you want to write Python code, this is not enough. What you need to do is you need to create a new file and write the code in that file. To do that, you're going to click File, you're going to click New File, and then a different window is going to show up, like this. Now, this is very similar to what we have on the left-hand side, which is the Interactive Console. But it also does something very differently. Over here, you can type a few lines, you can press Enter, nothing is going to happen. Right? But here is the place where we uh, can write our Python code. For example, I can do the same thing, call, uh, let's say, hello, over here. And when we are happy with the code, we want to test it, what we can do is we can press Run. So you click on the Run, and then you choose the Run module, or press F5. What IDO is going to tell you is that it, it, must, uh, it will only be able to run it uh, after you have saved the file. So we're going to do that. So click OK. And then it's going to bring up a uh, explore window. Now, what I normally do is for each of the project, for each of the question of each of the you know code piece, I'm going to create a different folder or directory to keep everything that is necessary inside it. So let's say here I'm going to keep it in under the um, hello world directory or folder. So I go inside it. I'm going to give it a name. So let's let's call it hello. What IDLE is going to do is it's going to uh, automatically append the .py extension to my file. So I do not have to type .py at the end as the extension. So once I click Save, you can see that on the left-hand side, we will see the output as we expected by calling the print function. So let's say we are happy with um, you know, this Hello World code. So uh, we can close it. So we can close this window and we can work on another project or another question. Now, if you decide that you want to come back to uh, make some changes, you can do that. You can click File, you can click Open, 
and you can go back to where you saved your code and then I'm gonna open it again and the other window shows up and let's say I want to change it to hello world and I run it to test to make sure that it works again it's telling me that you need to save it so I'm gonna save it and you can see that the change is now there so now when I run this code it's going to print hello world instead of just hello now, let's uh, work on a slightly more complex uh, example over here. I'm going to refer uh, or use the example that I created earlier on that uh, opens a file, reads its content, and add all the numbers inside and print the total out. So to save us some time, I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to create a new um, project. So I'm going to new file. I can see my new window over here. And I'm going to just paste my code on this window, like this. Next thing, I'm going to test run it. Right, so I'm going to press 1, run module. Again, uh, IDLE is telling me, oh, you, you must save it before uh, you can proceed. So I'm going to click OK. I'll do the usual thing. I go to a place where I store my Python files in my computer. I'm going to create another folder to uh, separate my code in uh, a uh, more structured way, so I'm going to call it add numbers in a file. And I'm going to save this file. This time, let's just call it main. Again, I don't need to type in .py as the extension because IDLE is going to add it for me automatically. All right. So it runs it, and then you can see that there's some sort of errors going on. So this is how IDLE tells us like something is wrong. So what's wrong? You can see that now it tells us, okay, well, at number line number one, something's wrong. So this is line number one. This is actually a very useful uh, thing to do because uh, by default, IDLE does not show you the line number. What you can do is you can click options, click hide or show line numbers to see the line number. And then you can refer to, oh, yeah, this is uh, the this line that is causing the problem. So what's the problem? Here it says that no such file or directory here. So... Hopefully by now you know that this means that this file, somehow Python cannot find it. So what is the issue over here? Now if we take a look at the file explorer, you can go into the directory, you can see that there's only the .py file here. There's no other things. And by default, the Python code is going to look only at the location where the file, the Python file is located. This is actually very similar to what we do on uh, the online IDE repo. Here, when we create a repo in repo it, what it is doing behind the scene is going to create a little directory or folder that stores all the necessary files or all the files involved. In this code example, I have the code in main.py. I also have the numbers.txt in the same directory over here. And this is actually what's missing in our example using the idle because the numbers.txt does not exist over here. So, if we take a look at um, over here, we actually have the file. Maybe you download it somewhere in your download folder or whatnot. But since it is not in the same place as the code, it does not work. So what we need to do is we need to place this file alongside with our code, exactly like how we do it in our um, repo, I, repo it. So what you do normally is you click upload file and it's going to place under the same repo or the same directory. So this is what we are doing exactly over here. So let's come back to here. Let's give it a run again. And you can see that, well, there's an error, but then the error is different this time. So as, as at least we have fixed something. Now, what is what is this error telling us this time? It's telling us that as line number six, something is wrong. Now, we kind of know that this code will work. The accumulated pattern is there, everything works. So there might be something wrong with our text file, right? In idle, Sorry, in uh, REPL, we can actually click on the file and then see the content. IDLE allows us to do exactly the same thing. To do that, you click the top left-hand corner of File, you choose Open, and then you go to the file where you store your, your code over here. Now, you notice that the TXT file does not is not there, but we have just seen that we have just moved the file in, so what's the problem? The reason why is that over here, by default, idle in only is going to only show you the .py file, right? With the extension .py. So what we want to do is we want to click this and we want to show the text files uh, with the extension .txt or all of the files that's in this folder or directory. So let's say we choose all files. 
So you see that now numbers is showing up. If we only choose TXT, then only TXT show up. So just to make it easier, everything shows up. Now we can choose the numbers of TXT, click open. Then there will be another window showing up over here. And now we can see that what uh, our code, our Python code, is actually trying to open. It's actually trying to open a, um, a file with the numbers in a different format. This time, these numbers are listed in one single line separated by commas. So of course, this code won't work because it's expecting a different format. So let's spend some time to fix it. Now, the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you read in the entire line and do a little bit of processing over here. So let's call it numbers. And then you're going to read the line from the number, uh, from the file. So number file dot read line. I'm going to do the usual thing. So I'm going to get rid of the um, end of line character. And then I'm also going to split it using the comma that we know is separating all the numbers we have. Now we have the usual uh, accumulator variable over here. But this time we are not accessing the file. We are not going to look through the file anymore. Instead, we're going to go through the numbers, which is a list. For each of the item, we are going to convert it into an integer and we're going to sum it up into our accumulator variable. All right. So let's give it a run again. So click run, save our file. And then you can see that now it is actually adding things up properly. No more errors. And if you look at the numbers, it's actually going to add up to 29. All right, so it looks good. I'm happy with the code. I close it. And I'm going to say uh, I want to send it in uh, as uh, a submission. So what I'm going to do, the next thing what I'm going to do is depending on what the question is asking me to submit, I can either just submit the py file. Or in some cases, if you want to submit more than one file, uh, you can uh, save it. To save it, you're going to choose the folder or directory where your all your files are residing and then you can choose send to and then you can use compress zip folder and then you can name it the way uh, it's required or we keep this the same name and we can submit this file instead of just uh, the .py file lastly by default idle does not have some of the modules that we might use and we will have to install them manually but for the purpose here, it has all the modules that we need, like random, even turtle. So that's good. So in summary, idle is a handy offline IDE for you to write Python code. It has syntax highlighting and auto indentation. It also allows you to open different files. The key idea of using it properly is to place all the files that is necessary for the project in the correct spot usually under the same directory or folder. I hope you learned something useful. And if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. Hope to see you again soon. Bye.